Here in California, there is a new fast-moving wildfire up in Siskiyou County. It's called the McKinney Fire. In just one day, it's burned 30 to 40,000 acres. It started on Friday, and it's burning near the town of Wairika, about an hour from the uh, Oregon border. Fire officials say it is being fueled by late evening thunderstorms. Really erratic winds uh, from the start of the incident, um, all the way up until now, still pretty breezy uh, this time of the morning. Uh, pretty extreme fire behavior throughout the entire ship. Closer to home, the Oak Fire near Yosemite has burned about 20,000 acres. Cal Fire says it is 52% contained. And the good news is that at least today some evacuations were lifted. And you look outside close to the shoreline today and you see the fog and the clouds and you think that's the most stable air on earth. Yep. On the other hand, behind you, I see thunderstorms. Bopping. Yeah, so it really is that like juxtaposition yeah. of what's going on. I want to start with the thunderstorms because even though the chance is small, we got a small chance no, no okay. tomorrow. For, so let's get into that. Here's the wide view. First of all, the fire that Brian was just talking about, the one that went from nothing to 30,000 acres in a day, that one burning way up here on the far northern edge of the state. And you can see the complex of lightning up there responsible for that. But let's draw your attention over here to the central Sierra. And even though it's not as impressive at this point, I'm going to switch and put this into the future cast and watch what happens as we go through the next 24 hours. Thunderstorms are going to redevelop again tomorrow. We might see a few straggler showers get pulled our way tonight from that, but that's very spotty and not all that impressive. Tomorrow gets a little more impressive. So here's uh, Sunday in the afternoon with a better complex of thunderstorms. And then you're going to see a little more of that energy redevelop and start to get pulled back towards the Bay Area. So here's the takeaway on something like that. This is a small chance, 10 to 20 percent chance we could see an isolated thunderstorm. Uh, not typical for us in the summer, obviously, right? Anyone who lives here knows that. But it can happen, and it happens sporadically. Think of the lightning siege from August 2020. That was the same setup, those big complexes of thunderstorms that do develop every summer over in the desert southwest. Sometimes can get pulled far enough west that we get in on the act here. 10 to 20 percent chance is not all that likely. But considering how dry the landscape is, we're going to watch this very closely because any lightning now would be a concern. Thankfully, we've got a lot of humidity. Temperatures have been well below average. All of those things help. So there's a lot that goes into watching the significant concern there, and we'll keep you updated on all of it over the next two days. There's the smoke plume from that McKinney fire. Good news. If you're worried about that, that's a huge fire, a lot of smoke. And the atmosphere is taking the majority of it away from us. So that, that's not going to be a factor. Instead, this is what's driving our life right now. That's the Golden Gate Bridge, obviously. You can't see the towers. And it doesn't look like that everywhere, obviously. This is the view from the top of Mount Diablo. You can see that beautiful deck of marine stratus, the low clouds, filling in a good part of the immediate bay. But if you go inland, it's sunshine. San Jose, that's you. And it's sunshine here. But overnight, the low clouds fill back in for everybody. We all wake up to gray skies again tomorrow, even some light mist, as those clouds are going to start to build back in. Mid-70s right now, by the way. 75 in Livermore, 68 in the city. And just to watch how the clouds rebuild tonight, tomorrow morning it's gray out, light mist near the coast and along the Bay shoreline. And then we're just going to repeat this pattern. Morning lows tomorrow, right where they were today. Upper 50s near the water, low 60s inland. Daytime highs tomorrow. Let's pull in a few more locations because Ukiah is going to 94. We'll see temperatures near 100 perhaps around Clear Lake. But if you look at the rest of the bay, it, temperatures are pretty well behaved here. We'll go to 86 in Livermore, 70 Bay shoreline, uh, 80 in San Rafael. And in the seven-day forecast, we just keep repeating that. We're not going to change this a whole lot. We'll keep doing our late July, early August thing with the low clouds in the morning and overnight hours, maybe even some light mist again. And notice I didn't put rain on here for that chance of isolated thunderstorms. It would be so few and far between. The bigger concern will be, do we get any lightning? That's what we'll be watching. And that's going to be the primary focus of the first alert forecast for like the next day and a half, two days.